Hello, I'm Dr. Gideon Micropenis, Professor of Sociology, Gender Nonsense, Race Baiting, Trans Waffle, and Mindless Hysterical Screeching Workery here at Fuckstick Metropolitan New University. It's been reported in the newspapers today that the BBC's head of diversity, Miranda Wayland, has claimed that popular TV detective Luther, as played by Idris Elba, isn't black enough to be authentic and real. And I wholeheartedly agree with her. And may I say, Thank goodness that the BBC has a head of diversity. It's undoubtedly a very legitimate and necessary job role that definitely isn't a frivolous waste of licence fee payers' money. And I'm sure Miranda Wayland has a hugely impressive CV that fully justifies her being given such a highly paid job at the BBC. As entertaining as it is, I think we've all watched Luther and thought, why isn't he more black? I mean, yes, he looks black, but at no point have I ever seen him eating jerk chicken. He seems to be somewhat of a lone wolf, which leads you to wonder, where are all his black friends? He drives a Volvo, and I for one have never seen a black man in a Volvo. Luther does not appear to have the natural rhythm of a black man. I have never seen him engage in any kind of street dancing. He may have a particularly large penis, but I have never seen that on display. I have never seen Luther engage in any drug dealing, knife crime, or other gang-related activity. And furthermore, there is no evidence that at any point Luther has abandoned any illegitimate children he may have fathered, so it's difficult to see in what sense he is truly black, other than in the visual sense, of course. This is a despicable failing on the part of the BBC. It's clear that everyone involved in the production of this programme is a racist and should probably never be allowed to work in the media again. Thank God for people like Miranda Wayland flagging up this sort of bigotry and lining her own pockets at the same time. She's leading us all down the path of progress and equality and long may she continue to be overpaid and overpromoted.